Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Definitely not. Is this it? Might be. <laughs> Is this the chair? Is this the chair we're going with? We got way too many options to choose from. So we got the option to either just go back completely freaking stock, fix all of my mistakes, or either we can step it up a little bit and go, you know, full month. We can go fast, fast. So we got, we got options, right? Hmm. We just gotta see if they have it. Oh shit, right there. You guys, we have made it back to the house. I think it's time that we actually start unboxing this thing so we can get it ready to actually put inside the freaking frame of the motorbike. So this will be our replacement engine that we are gonna be using. This is the brand new release, Predator 212 Ghost. Ghost, I don't know what that means, but it's a ghost. That means, actually that means it better leave all of our competitors who we line up with. Actually, no, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> it's gonna turn me into the ghost, I'm gonna be so fast. In addition to getting this motor, we actually had to get an accessory kit to go with it because the way that this motor actually comes inside the box, it is, you know, just the motor and the carb. We gotta snag some of the original parts off that bike to actually reuse with this motor and the accessory kit really includes pipe, the air filter, fuel lines for a pump, exhaust manifold. I mean, bro, I'm pretty much excited. I've never really seen this. I've seen a few videos on YouTube about this engine and I heard they're pretty great. I've heard of Predator racing engines, but I mean, the newly released one is what I'm talking about because I've, I've ridden Predators in the past. Since we are actually, you know, basically replacing this motor, putting a brand new motor inside this mini bike, I figure we can actually make this like a little build series now that we will actually have a running motor. What happened with the first motor? I'm an idiot. Uh, we were just playing with it. We actually got this mini bike from Tractor Supply. Uh, we did a video trying to buy the cheapest mini bike that we could find and it was indeed the cheapest mini bike that we found. Uh, we tried several different places including Walmart. We were left no option but to go to Tractor Supply but that bike didn't even last us I don't know a couple hours <laughs> without it like basically blowing up. Let's just say YBD probably thought he knew what he was doing but in reality he didn't. I was just getting instructions off a YouTube video and that's it uh what we got in this motor so damn the motor itself look right down there that's it we gotta get out of this big ass box boy here she is don't drop it all right we'll set this here bam fresh new motor you guys these motors really mount up in pretty much any i guess well-known uh you know mini bike brand out there go karts whatever you can pretty much slap these things in whatever four easy bolts on the bottom damn this is dope what else we got in here all right, damn, this is tiny. <laughs> this is tiny. I got some ideas in my head of what I want to do to this thing and just make it like a little, little cruiser. You know, we're not going to be jumping the triples or anything. Sheesh. Just got a rolling chassis now. Everything's pretty much mounted up. Post to the motor mounts aren't that tight, so it's still kind of loose, but so I actually got a thumb throttle instead of a twist throttle. I thought it would be a little bit better. I got some new grips that I need to put on here. I'm gonna take this light off and actually replace this with maybe an LED bar. I have one that I wanna put on here, so I don't really like the way that that thing looks pretty freaking ugly. So I didn't realize it until I actually got everything torn apart. The old clutch off the old motor was not able to be used on this one because apparently this shaft is actually a three fourths uh, of an inch shaft. This shaft is actually bigger than the diameter of the clutch, but I did go to order a new clutch. I saw some clutches for like $30. Not no racing clutches or anything like that, just some basic clutches for this thing. But then I also saw a torque converter. Why not spend an extra $30? It was like $60, $70. I don't really know which is better between the two, either the clutch or the torque converter. So I just went with the torque converter. We're still waiting on that and that should be in hopefully pretty soon. This build is gonna move, you know, fairly quick. So make sure you guys really do stick around to see the finished product of this thing. We also got some new tires coming in. Possibly gonna do a little bit of paint jobs, powder coating and things here and there. This exhaust here, this thing is freaking ugly. The way that it comes out, dude, this is gonna absolutely like obliterate the rear end of my leg. So somebody's gonna get burned really bad if we don't do anything about this. So what I'm thinking is any extra tubing whatsoever, we could actually custom make our own. And if we add enough pipe, we could actually make it come out here there's not enough room for this itself uh, to, you know, re reroute itself under the seat because there's not any room up under here. So that's not an option. We could have a dual exhaust system to where it comes through here. One end comes here and the other end 
comes out over here. So we will have two exhaust pipes coming out the rear. I actually thought that would be pretty cool. We're going to have somebody, you know, custom fabricate something like that for us. Or either we're going to do the easy route to where we won't have to do any of that, where we just have this, bend it this way to where it's not sticking out so much we're just going to have it repositioned to go straight back if you guys have any suggestions of your own that you think i should do to this thing i need some ideas i need some ideas i need some inspiration on what to do to this thing i think we can make this thing pretty badass we're going to continue this real fast last night i finished up putting the fuel pump in my kx450 i'm not even sure if it works um i had to charge the battery and everything just so it could be ready to go i had to dump all the gas out so we're here to get new gas and we are going to see if this fuel pump is putting us back in action i hope i did it right this is like my second time well second time changing a fuel pump but first time doing it on a kx so it's a little different than the yz's i am gonna get about a gallon of gas real quick just so we can test it out i really hope that this solves the issue of what we've been dealing with i watched a youtube video of some guy that was dealing with the same issue he explained everything that he was dealing with and i mean the symptoms are the same for me as well so damn Ten dollars for two gallons, bro. Let go. Shit. Just wasted half of it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bro, what? Where is that? All right, grab that. That's like the worst thing that could freaking happen right now. This like, this is what happens to everybody's 10 millimeter socket. It just falls down in the crevices of whatever you're working on, you never see it again. After connecting this last one, we should have power, um, and then it should fire up the fuel pump. We, we might even hear it turn on. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it, baby. <laughs> I promise you, if this is about to work right now, if this bike's gonna start, I'm about to go do some wheelies up and down the street real fast. With no plastics, no nothing on. I just put the seat back on and everything just because I already have so much faith in this thing that it's gonna start. I'm so freaking excited. Just put some gas in here. Ah! Willie time. Oh, we back in action, baby. Let's go. Bro, it started without, like, right up. It started without an issue. Hell yes, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go. It probably looks so freaking stupid right now, right now without the fenders on. I told y'all we gonna be back. Y'all need some work done? Come to YVD Mechanic Shop, baby. For the ones that were on my TikTok live, um, that I, I was like really distracted by you guys, so I wasn't able to really get this done on live like I wanted to, but it actually took me probably about 30 minutes to do like right after. So instead of getting like the whole fuel system or like the fuel pump itself, which was like 400 bucks, back in business, baby. Just because I just recorded all of that with no audio, I'm just gonna say it again. If you guys are this far into the video, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys stayed this far, you guys found out the most exciting news of the day for me. We just gotta get my little brother back in action too. We're gonna start hitting up more tracks, trails, and races and stuff now that we have that bike. Give us something to do, you feel me? And I know you guys wanna see that too. Nobody wanna to smoke. Nobody out there wanna smoke with me, especially on that 450 now. Oh, and also, I still have more news for you guys. If you guys have not seen the brand new release music video called Real Riders by me make sure you guys do so and go check it out man it will be the first link in the description we put a lot of time and effort into this and we also had a bunch of fun doing it at the same time so you guys were showing mad love on this new music video and supporting me and i think we're actually going to go into full effect full swing with the music like we're just going to go off take it off bring it to a whole new level and everything like that It's just a lot going on right now, honestly. So if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. First link in the description. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time for the next video, gang. Peace out. I see y'all later. Light skin, bread, winner, cold start, full pinner, two stroke, gas, killer, both stroke, race, winner.